What's up people? We're back here in the Shed to Tiny House build and today is going to be an awesome video. I need your input on what I should do for my kitchen. So I drove into town this morning to see if I could find any bargains on some kitchen items. I went to a place called GNS. It's a local mom and pop hardware store and I picked up some cabinets for the kitchen. Check this out. Yeah buddy. We have kitchen cabinets. This one right here is a smaller one. It does have four drawers that do pull out. You can put your silverware, foil, stuff like that. Oh, there we go. I'm probably gonna end up hooking up some handles on these things. I got the little mini fridge from the uh, man cave, which is nothing special. It still probably needs to be cleaned out. And then over here is where the sink's gonna go. These two right here do not open but these cabinets down here do. I just put some of my supplies in here, some of the building supplies to get it out of the way. I'll be able to do all my plumbing and everything over here. Once again, I'll be putting in the little handles here, right here. Then I picked up this sink. I got this one on Amazon, a little stainless steel 20 inch sink. Thought that's pretty cool. It should fit near perfect. And then the steel of the day are these cedar planks right here. I absolutely love the way cedar looks. I went to the flea market and got these two. They're eight foot by about, I don't know, 15 inches wide or so. They absolutely look awesome. Then picked up this over here. I'm gonna use that as a possible mantle. And then these two long slabs right here for a possible shelf up here for the loft. It's gonna be a small shelf just to store stuff on, so I think that should work out perfect. Uh, once again, I absolutely love the way uh, the cedar looks. I got everything for $200. What do you guys think of this setup? I'm liking it so far. So nothing here is set in place. I just pretty much just got back from town and started putting everything in here. Uh, comment down below and let me know, should I rearrange stuff? Where should I put the sink? Where should I put the mini fridge? I just have it like this. This is something that I kind of thought would be a, a cool idea, a cool setup. Uh, but the more ideas, the better. Y'all might think of something that I, that I haven't thought of. And, uh, you still have the window right here, keep that in mind. Um, should I put the sink over here in front of the window so you can look out? Should I move the mini fridge to the other side? Uh, one of the reasons why I thought about putting the mini fridge here in the middle is because the outlet down in the wall uh, for the mini fridge is actually right behind it, so it kind of worked out pretty good here. Um, I absolutely love this little uh, cabinet right here. Uh, like I said, it has the four drawers that pull out. Uh, what I'm thinking about doing is possibly just staining these cabinets uh, a light color and then uh, clear coating it that way it kind of matches the cedar up on the ceiling and then as far as these cedar slabs go i'm, I'm definitely going to keep the live edge on the front part of the counter i love the way it looks all the little defects and all that i will go back in and take the bark off because it will end up falling off anyways um, i'll have to uh, basically splice these two chunks of wood together to make a nice countertop i'll be uh, clear coating clear coating the hell out of this thing basically it's so many different coats i'll go in uh sand it down in between coats make sure this thing's nice and shiny and waterproof and then uh i called jason and showed him the setup as well and he was saying maybe some of the cutoffs from here i can make a little backsplash on the back of that so comment down below and let me know what you think of that uh over here is where the sink is where i'm thinking about having it go maybe right here in the middle it'll give you plenty of room around the sink to be able to maybe put a little a dish rack right here to dry your dishes on. Uh, maybe have some shelving up here for some cast iron and whatever other pots and pans that you want. Uh, some shelving up here. I'm not gonna put a full cabinet up there because I feel like that would be too much, but maybe some uh, just little shelves up here to put some dishes and stuff like that on. Um, and then over here, you have a nice big area to put a small microwave if you wanted or a little coffee pot. Uh, plenty of counter space here to be able to cook on and prep your food. Uh, what I was planning on doing over here basically is just cutting uh, these two slabs off about two inches have a two inch hangover on this side and then put all my power banks right here on the side uh, maybe have a place that i can enclose them in and then over here is where the fireplace is going to go like i mentioned i have a uh, a big chunk of wood over there that i'm planning on possibly using for a mantle um, i'm thinking about taking the cedar and going straight down for the fireplace i know there was a lot of people that were commenting uh, to put tin and stuff like that I personally am not a huge tin fan on the inside of houses, but everybody has their own taste. But uh, I'm thinking about using the, uh, some of the extra cedar from the ceiling and making a fireplace going down. And then, uh, like I mentioned earlier as well, using these big, uh, I believe they're 
eight foot or 10 foot planks as a shelving up there for uh, just extra storage for Matt to put his, uh, I don't know, maybe winter clothes and other things up there. But I actually like the way it's a set up. It gives you plenty of room in here to open the door like that. Um, this side over here is gonna be the bathroom, which y'all probably saw a little bit of that in my other video, but it gives you plenty of room. I'll just come in, close the door real quick. Plenty of room to walk in, move around, and don't feel like it's too cramped up in here. And then uh, possibly have a small little trash can over here if, if I'm not planning on opening this cabinet up much. Maybe have uh, some storage down here as well for some dishes and uh, cleaning products, other types of things. Maybe not mix those two, but uh, yeah, have a small trash can over here. Um, I'm My mind's just going now. I feel like Jason just all over the place trying to think of things and um, just having the cedar on the ceiling started making my brain really turn. Uh, the original plan was to have like a yellow pine, which is what we used inside for the countertops. And I figured, why not go to the flea market, see what I can come up with. And it just so happens there was a guy there selling this cedar. And uh, I told him, uh, or basically I asked him if he had his own sawmill. And he said he did. So I asked him what brand. He said he had the Woodland Mills. And I said, oh, that's cool. I said, my brother is in Oklahoma and he has a sawmill that's a wood, woodland mills and that we do youtube and he asked for the channels and he kind of had a smile on his face he says i'm pretty sure i've seen y'all's videos before so uh shout out to the guy at the flea market for this so the total cost for this entire setup minus the mini fridge and the sink was uh, around 200 dollars for the uh the two cedar planks up here the two cedar planks i have against the wall over here the uh mantelpiece this cabinet and this cabinet down here so I think that's a bargain. I was planning on trying to build it all, but there's just so much work to be done. I figured why not make it a little bit easier on myself and just have one that's already pre-made and then I can kind of customize it however I want. So comment down below, should I paint the cabinets? Should I stain them? Uh, should I just leave it as is and clear coat it? I want y'all's ideas. The more ideas, the better. Like I said, I'm kind of uh, leaning towards maybe just a light stain like I mentioned earlier. Um, but I will leave a little bit more of a gap here just in case we get a different mini fridge. They're all different sizes, so I want to be able to make sure that it still fits in there. This is about three feet tall, and then the countertop's going to be from that wall over here to about here will be almost six feet long, just to give you guys an idea. So, so comment down below and let me know what you guys think of this setup. I am freaking excited to get this thing in and start working. Once again, I'm just going to give you guys just a quick look at it. The more ideas, the better. I already have my life proof flooring. I actually have it in my car right now, but that'll be one of the last things we put in. There is still about a foot gap right here that we could possibly put the trash can in. And then up here, like I said, just put some like floating shelves or something. It does go up pretty high. And then that window will be trimmed out soon. Probably have some curtains up there. And then over there in that corner, that's where the fireplace is gonna go. Uh, one more look at this over here. Those are the two wood planks that Will most likely probably be some shelving up here. Absolutely love the way those look. And then once again, here's the uh, little mantelpiece, which is probably a, I don't know, maybe four and a half feet tall or so. I'll probably end up taking up all the bark off of this, sanding it down, and then mounting it up here. I'm thinking about keeping this kind of fireplace in here. It's a cheaper one, and it's uh, basically ready to go as is. And then mount the TV up here put some beams going down. I don't think I'm gonna be able to use the ones that I had before, but. So there's a lot of stuff going on in this place. You can see behind me, we got the shower in. I have the uh, portable toilet actually outside right now. I need to put it back in here. And then uh, when Jason comes back down, which will be pretty soon here, we're gonna end up building up the bathroom wall. You can see the wire hanging down here. That's where we're gonna wire in the light and the vent in the shower. I think it's gonna be pretty awesome. I'm excited to get this done. Um, I'm just kind of curious to see how much we can actually get done before Matt gets back. So there's still a ton of work to be done. Uh, one of my next videos is probably gonna be going in and texturing all the walls. And then uh, up here on the ceiling above, I gotta try to sand up all the rough edges and I got some clear coat that I'm gonna be putting on there. So that's gonna look pretty awesome as well. So it's gonna be a lot of work. I want y'all to comment and comment and comment and let me know what you guys think and what I could do to change things or ideas that you think might be something better than what I'm doing right now. So comment down below and let me know what you guys think. Hope you enjoyed this video. I know it was a lot of talking, but I wanted to get some ideas before I start digging too far into getting this kitchen set up. So hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.